Hey guys, it's time for another quick look at another unreleased game for the Atari ST, and this time it's Highway Encounter by Vortex Software. The coding of the game was done in just three months in 1990, but it was never published, apparently because they couldn't find a publisher for it. There also seems to have been plans to port it to the Amiga, but that most likely never happened. The game was initially released in 1985 on the 8-bit computers. It uses a 3D isometric perspective, and given my fascination with isometric games, I was immediately intrigued when I got the ZX Spectrum version back in 85-86, and the game quickly became one of my all-time favorite Spectrum games. It was also released for the Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, and MSX. The game was designed by Costa Panayi, and sorry if I am butchering the pronunciation of the name. Costa is of Greek Cypriot descent and created many classic games for the ZX Spectrum like Android 2, Tornado Low Level, Cyclone, and many more. His games were usually based on quite original ideas and always had solid gameplay. He also managed to make very good use of the limited color capabilities of the Spectrum. On the SD version of Highway Encounter, he worked on the graphics. The coding of the SD version was done by the late Mark Haig Hutchinson. Mark started working at Vortex Software in 1984, but he also held positions at Arctic Software, Elite Systems, LucasArts, and other companies. Amongst the more notable games he worked on, we find Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Rebel Assault, Star Wars Dark Forces, Shadows of the Empire, and the Metroid Prime games. Initially, distribution was denied of the SD version, but in 2010, the user Tomcat on the Atari forums was given permission by Costa to release the game. So finally, on January the 21st, 2010, the game was made available, almost 20 years after it was finished. The SD version is supposed to be finished and fully playable, all 30 levels are supposed to be there. So let's start up the game, shall we? And I did actually download this a couple of years ago, quite a long time ago I think, and played it for a little bit, but not really very much, and I don't really remember too much about it, so, uh, so this is kind of semi-blind, this. And yeah, it, the title screen looks very much like the Spectrum one, I can say that much. And it says demo version there, but as I said before, this is supposedly the complete version. The only thing that's supposed to be missing is the... the music. Oh, we've got sample sound effects. I can say that there were no sample sound effects in the Spectrum version, <laughs> for obvious reasons. And yeah, this game is... Pretty clever. I see some of my controls are working. Yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting idea. You are controlling this the first robot here, and the rem remaining robots with um, that are behind me that are kind of pushing that pyramid behind me. They are my extra lives, and that's the cool thing with this game. They will be pushing this bomb thing. It looks like a pyramid, and uh, if any evil aliens like that weird. Thing <laughs> spinning around there touches my my extra lives. They will obviously, you know, blow up and die. So I will lose a life, and this is pretty cool. Uh, so my job is to kind of clear a path through 30 different screens and uh, make sure my extra lives don't get killed, and then have them push this bomb up onto the 30 screen. And there's a mothership there that you're supposed to blow up a spaceship of some sort. Um, it's a pretty cool idea, so I can kind of use my, my weapons here to kind of clear the way, move these barrels out, out of the way. And the game's got tank control, so I kind of push... Oops! Please die. No, no, don't. I can spin around left, right, and then if I push up, I can go the direction I'm facing. And I've got, like, two different speeds, like super fast and super slow. <laughs> and if I push down, I will stop or go slower anyway. So, not the easiest of controls, but I think it was the same on the Spectrum, really. So, we're just going to leave my buddies here, my extra lives, and we're going to move up ahead and see what we can do to clear out this place. And there's loads of these weird... I don't know what they are supposed to be. They are evil, and they are quite difficult to hit. Don't... Thank you. Um, so, yeah, let's just see if we can clear out this place. These fire-looking things, I think they will blow me up if I touch them, so let's not do that. These things, I'm not sure what they are. I can't remember them from the Spectrum version. Let's try it. Slope. Oh, it's kind of power-ups. 
Oh, or power downs even in this case, maybe. What's this then? Nothing much. Alright, that was pretty interesting. There were no power-ups or power downs in the Spectrum version. And I think that is like that's like a wall that thing that oh yeah, you can break these. Pretty cool. Let's move carefully ahead and see what we got here. We've got more evil alien trash. Filthy aliens that deserve to die. Why am I not killing those things? Are they too low? <laughs> yeah, it would seem to be the case. They're not they're kinda not tall enough to get murdered. Go away, please don't <laughs> Don't murder me, don't murder me. Uh, let's see if this is a power up I want. Or right, power down. One slow photon, really. No, go, go, go! Ooh, yeah, the controls, man, they are pretty slow. No reckon. Go, don't, don't go that way. Keep, you know, stay here. Slow photon. What is that? Oh, maybe, maybe one, the number there is, is indicating that this is always, yeah, the same power up. Or power down or whatever. Or well, maybe it's good to have slow photons. I don't know. I would presume no. Let's, um... Oh, hang on. Let me just try something. Oh, these things, they don't actually hurt me. They will just, like, push me back, I think. Oh, shit. I tried to turn there, but nothing happened. So now you see I've lost one life, and I've got uh, three more. <laughs> so let's just... Have a little bit of a look up ahead and see what is going on here. Could yeah, I can. I think my buddies will stop here. So let's just maybe move one screen forward very carefully and maybe murder some aliens. These heads are looking pretty annoying. So let's try and see if we can get them with my slow photon shots. And these things, wow, they are pretty fast. I do remember these from from the ooh, Spectrum version. They look very similar. Don't remember the heads and don't remember these bouncy things that look like tires. I don't think ooh, they <laughs> were present in that version, actually. Now, these things that look like spike balls or mines, I think they un undestroy. You can't destroy them. Yeah, they are invulnerable. So we're just going to leave them. We're going to have to try and get rid of them by being smart. So let's see if we can maybe be smart while not at the same time being completely murdered. Could you flip and die? That guy, I want to get him. Come on. So many enemies here. I don't remember there being so many on the Spectrum version, really. I'm going to try and get past him and murder these people. Well, not really people, right? More like aliens, I think. And there was a sequel to the Spectrum version, of, or the 8-bit version of this game, called, um, let me think, Alien Highway, I think? So, yeah. Not as good as the first game, because the first Spectrum game that I played, or the first encounter game, was really, really quite good. I really, really quite liked it. I even finished it. It was just just the right amount of difficulty, you know, it's just, just right. Not too hard, not too easy. And there is a time limit, I think, for these for this game as well, so let's try and maybe pick up the speed a bit. And this dragon needs to die, thank you. We need to move this one down here. Oh god, it's really, really finicky to get this controls to work. <laughs> Okay, let's just push this forward, and as, we can, as you can see, I've now kind of trapped that spike ball thing. I don't know why... Oh my god, sometimes the controls don't respond, I don't know why, but it is pretty nerve-wracking. So let's see if we can squeeze that dude in behind the barrel. And how am I supposed to get this barrel away from the... I think I can do this, yeah, let's do that. Go away, you annoying! Stop it! <laughs> it's almost like you get attached to them. Like you get glued onto them somehow, I don't know. They really, really annoying. So leave me alone! Stop being... I think they push you in a random direction. Stop doing that. You're annoying. Super annoying. Alright. This is going fairly well. I can do this. And I can't stop for some reason. Sometimes the buttons do nothing. 
think I'm in the right position here. Let's do that. Come on, blow up that stuff. Carefully navigate into the right position here and then we get rid of that spike ball thing. So let's go back for my buddies here. So this is kind of like a strategic shooter, I guess we could call it, or a puzzle shooter, maybe. Leave my friends alone. God, you almost pushed me into the fire, you complete twat. <laughs> Oops. No, no, no. no. Let's uh, speed up a bit. Now my... Oh, God, I did make one fatal flaw here. I'm not sure... There's anything that's stopping these guys? Nope, don't. Oh shit, this is terrible. This is gonna be an absolute mayhem here, please. I don't know what these things are, these spinning sticks with balls in the middle, I've no idea. I'm guessing I shouldn't be touching them. Let's try and Oh god, they've murdered my my extra lives. <laughs> Oop. Jesus, this these guys are fast. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. Please don't. And you need to die. Thank you. Thanks for being understanding. Now let's go back and have a look at that thing. Over here. It's like an arrow pointing that way and it says is that like a teleport? I have a feeling it's a teleport, right? So maybe we shouldn't... We could give it a shot and see what happens. I'm guessing we're going to move to zone 28 now, right? Yeah! I wonder what these things are. I really don't know. And there's more of these power-ups. Um, okay, I see now. All right, fair enough. It kind of makes my shots bounce. Slow photon again. Yeah, okay, I don't think I should be picking up any more of those. Don't seem to be terribly useful. Okay. Okay. Um, this is uh, an interesting situation here. But how should we solve this? Maybe we could, like, release the spike ball thing. That will make this spiky ball go this way, I presume. And there's... Oh, God. Oh, my... Yeah, right into my face. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Now it's only me. It kind of makes the game a bit simpler when you haven't got, like... Oh, oh you... Bastard. <laughs> As I was going to say, it kind of makes the game a bit more simple if you haven't got your extra lives to worry about, but then on the other hand, if you get shot in the face like that or get blown up, you, yeah, this game over. Let's give this another try, shall we? We need to get rid of all these annoying gits. Okay, now it says three there. Is that good? Oh, you little... F <laughs> I was pretty sure I was facing him, but apparently I wasn't. Apparently I was. Now go away! Don't come around here! Let's piss off! Okay, I think I got him. Good, good! Three remaining lives. Great. Terrific. <laughs> uh, we're gonna move ahead here and take care of the annoying alien infestation here. Oh, we can actually push these. They don't actually break. That's interesting. Did not know about... Come on, don't! Uh, come on, stay. Please, don't. Don't leave already. We've got much to talk about. Many things to debate. All about diplomacy, this game. Oh, these heads. Hopefully they will just, like, end up by themselves in front of my shots here and, you know, problem solves itself. Hopefully. You, over there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't get stuck. Ugh. Yes, please. Oh, die! All right, good, good, good. Let's just try and do this puzzle again, quickly. These things are really quite annoying. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so many more enemies than I remember from the Spectrum version. I think they've added a bunch of new ones, of course, and uh, also, just in general, more enemies. Super easy! We can destroy these things. Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> stop doing that. No, don't flip and do that. That's not good. Okay, 
Good, good, good. Let's move ahead and murder some more funky looking aliens. We could actually be a bit smart and use this barrel to our advantage and put that in the way of my not so smart buddies. We should be good somewhere around there, so we could kind of let my friends free and let them move up a bit. Oh. Oh, this place, yeah. What a complete mess. I don't like these balls thingies that makes my shot go bounce. Well, maybe they're kind of useful. Maybe I can actually use them. I don't know. It doesn't seem to bounce straight back into my face, so that's good. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can touch them or not. I'm not sure I want to try. Okay, let's not shoot that. Let's go back. We can use the teleporter, I presume. Oh, fudge! Oh, we don't need to. We're back here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was quite annoying. There's so many enemies. I think I said that already, I know, but... There truly are quite a few enemies. Spectrum conversion was much more peaceful. <laughs> that is the right word for it. Okay, buddies, come on. Move up. And yeah, we can see that worked fine. My little friends are now stuck here, so we can move up ahead and clear out this place. Yeah, I think the solution to this would be to um, go away, you annoying thing. You look like a tire with tentacles sticking out of it. Don't, don't. Let's just... Please. Go away! Oh, God, these are things are so annoying. We are going to try and get both of these things stuck here by being... Oh, smart, of course. Let's just kill this, if we can. This is nerve-wracking because I, as I said, the controls are a bit weird sometimes. I can't control, or the buttons don't respond very well sometimes. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Now, I think we can trap both of these. Oh, these things. Go away, you annoying... <laughs> don't don't hang around me all the time. Please. Yeah, that worked like a treat. Thank you. Let's just push the barrel a bit and we should be fine. I think. Oh, God, another mess. Oop. No, 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 no. Please don't, 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 don't. Oh, I shouldn't do this. This is very dumb. This is so dangerous, starting to destroy stuff when you don't have a clear idea of how to solve the puzzle. I want to get rid of you. Please. Thank you. I'm going to have this as an obstacle for my little friends. So let's put that somewhere around there. I hope that's good enough. And let's go back. Oh, no one's killed my buddies that good. That's good. Good, good, good. Move forward, my friends. Hopefully that should work. It did indeed. Oh, another enemy. Oh, that's an ugly looking whatever. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And these things, I'm not sure what they are. I can't destroy them anyway. Oh, it seems like when you fire, they, they just stop bouncing around. Why that is good or bad, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's just kill the, the cabbage head here, shall we? Or whatever the hell it is. I have no idea what they do. Um, let's see if we can just... I mean, this puzzle looks quite simple, but I have a bad feeling about it. It's deceptively simple, I think. Let's um, destroy these things. Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't know, but let's just give it a shot. No! Oh my god. Oh, that was... Yeah, the, the, uh, the controls did not respond there. And let's try and get back here. Now, I want to be pushing this thing. Can I get it away from the edge? I think I can, right? Yes, I can. Let's try and see if we can get the... Um, the spike ball out of the way. That worked. Now, how do I fire on the barrel? Can I... 
not sure if this is going to be working here. Did that work? Oh, go away, you annoying cabbage face! Jesus, that thing is horrifying! Oh, that worked. So, what exactly are the bouncier things supposed to be doing apart from just bounce around? I don't get that. That's a bit weird. There's a new number. Fast photons? Oh, is that like how many shots I can fire in sequence? I don't really know. Let's try and murder the cabbage people here. Oh, maybe they will murder me. I'm not sure that was a good approach. No, don't. Please don't. That looks like I'm going to blow up. I'm not sure. It, oh, God. Let's try and get lined up properly. I think that should do it, right? Yep. Let's see if we can kill some more cabbage people here. Oh, my God. Such a mess. And the new type of alien seems like they just collapse when you shoot at them and then they pop back up, I'm gonna guess, maybe? Hmm, I have no idea if these things are like... Yeah, they're in the way. <laughs> that much for sure. You can't move them. Oh, they will wake up. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. At least they are not hurting me. Oops. When they are immobilized. Okay, I've got a feeling this is going to be the end of me here. <laughs> but let, oop! Yeah, I pressed stop, but that didn't work. So now it's just me and my bomb and a whole bunch of screens to go. Well, let's give it a quick shot, shall we? This is hard work, this. I suppose we could kind of I can't push it. Oh, yeah. Could we maybe... I'm going to be lazy here. I'm just going to shoot that out of the way. And hopefully I can push this thing. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, shame about the controls. They were really, really not great. I'm pretty sure it's not the game's fault. I'm pretty sure that's my my uh, controller setup or something, an issue with it. It seems like quite often the controls are not very responsive. I'm not sure what's going on. So, yeah, this is uh, not a bad game at all. It's uh, very much like the Spectrum version or the 8-bit the versions of the game, just looking a lot better, more colors and such. So definitely enjoyable and they're pretty tricky and they seem to have upped the difficulty a bit as well. So, But definitely worth checking out. So if you want to try it out, check out the link in the description and download the game. It should run on, on any ST or SDE, I think. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.